cutting. It's the first over. Jadeja is facing, and uh, the bowler is Wazi Makram. Just one run on the board. Oh, well bowled. Beautiful delivery. Been in for pace, really. Yeah, well, a bit, uh, well, did hit the inside edge. Went flying away down towards fine leg. Must have been very close to the off stump. Very, very quick action. Sort of lumbers up to the stumps, and then all of a sudden the ball goes hurtling away. That was lucky. It certainly was. It was beautifully bowled. Not only did it come back with the arm, but it bounced as well. Inside edge went over the stumps, and the man had finally did a good job to save the extra two runs there. So Kent a little bit slow. As you see that go over the middle and leg. That's some Crystal Kent in World Cup matches. He's played 19. That's quite a lot. The strike rate's 84. Point three, so that's excellent. So when he gets away, he can be a winner, but he's not getting away at the moment. That's out if he catches it. No, he doesn't. It looked to me as if it just carried. That's his strike rate, 50 down at the bottom there. Oh, that is a big wide. Well, for the great bowler that he is, he really is struggling to get it straight. Yes, I think that Imran Khan will whip him off here. Just can't afford to have this to, to happen. It sets a standard for the whole team for the rest of the match. Imran will be very uh, annoyed about his main striker, Wasim Akram, been so inaccurate. It's just to slow down and get the ball straight and make the batsman play. It's plenty of bounce here for him. That's a nice placement. And I'll tell you what, he would have been run out had he hit the stumps. And he's waiting, and umpire Shepard eventually said, uh, yes, you must go. Akib Javid had no doubt that the ball had been taken cleanly, nor that it had found the outside edge. So he's had a few goes at uh, Shrikan for LBW, finally had him caught behind. This ball just straightening a little bit and carrying no problems to Marlon there, the wicket keeper. He didn't get overly excited about it. I think that's what probably let Chris Shrikan wait. But he's definitely out. He's gone. India are now one for 25. Mohammad Azruddin is the new batsman for India, the skipper of the side. Have to be quick. Oh, would have been out by oh a yard or two yards. The Indian captain would not be here. That's a splendid stroke. Just didn't get it quite square enough. But uh, they picked up two. Jadeja now goes on to 17. It's the end of the over. Imran Khan, the bowler. That's a lovely shot. Just the most superb timing. Footwork good. Delightful swing of the bat. And perfect time. Yes, that's definitely what timing's all about. Not too much energy expelled here. And full face of the bat. No problems getting to the fence. One for 34. Imran Khan, the bowler. Well, that's. Uh, Equally as good a stroke as the one he played off the back foot in the last over. Definitely. Again, not expending a lot of energy, but perfect timing from the Indian skipper. That ball racing between cover and mid-off for four. It's the second time Imran Khan has over-pitched. Over-pitched the first delivery of his spell. It's the second time, and Hinder Ezra didn't take him full toll. There's the 50 up for India in the 19th over, so Pakistan would be pretty pleased that they've slowed the progress uh, to that point. 114 balls for that 50. Mwajim Haider is coming on now from the Randwick end. 
Beautifully placed. Bisected the two outfielders. Not a very good delivery from Wazim Haider, this. And Imran Khan has taken himself off at the Paddington end and bringing Mushtaq, the leg spinner, into the attack. This time he's gone a little bit higher and a bit wider. That brings up the 50 partnership between these two. First wicket fell in the 10th over. It's now the 23rd over. 75 balls has taken them to bring up their 50 partnership and Jardesia starting to take over the senior role. He's moved along to 34. That was his first boundary. The captain decides that he needs a bit of help. Just the one bounce into the side screen. That's as uh, perfect a placement as you'll find. And as was the case with uh, Jadeja, the footwork was quite magnificent. That was Mohammed Ashuddin. Straight down the ground, could hardly have been much straighter. Footwork taking him to the, the uh, pitch of the ball. Same way Jadeja was down driving on the onside, the previous delivery. Footwork is of tremendous importance. That's out, he's caught behind, trying to cut it very fine and very hard. Ishtak Ahmed comes back the best way possible. He takes a wicket of the Indian captain, Mohammed Azaruddin. Well, that's the first time I've seen Mushtaq Ahmed really put any work on the ball out there. He's been rolling it out. That one he gave a real tweak. And it spun a little and jumped as well. A thick top edge. It's pretty well held by the keeper. It wasn't an easy catch because of the extra bounce. And that is a vital wicket for Pakistan. Mushtaq Ahmed takes it and it's 2 for 86. Cambly. The new batsman for India. Jadeja back on strike. This is in the air. There's a fieldsman back, but he may not be far enough back. It's over the top of the fieldsman into the fence for four. And that's the end of the over. India are two for 94. The last ball of Mushtaq Ahmed's over. He decided to go over the top with two fieldsmen back. Wasim Akram was the fieldsman at mid-on. He was quite a way in. Obviously felt the fence was a lot closer than it really was. Campbell getting into the act now. Short delivery from Haider. And Zamam Al-Haq. Makes good ground. Two, two runs to Camby there. the man Jardasia who's been there for the 27.5 overs and he's largely responsible for the fact that they've got the run rate up to 3.62 he and Azra Din it's in the air it's a half volley he's claiming the catch nobody's really looked at the umpire the umpires are conferring David Shepard just to the naked eye, it looked to me as though it was a straight half volley. But the umpires have confirmed. Quite confident that the ball carried. Jardasia obviously had a different view of it than uh, the Pakistan fielders. And umpire Peter McConnell, who was at square leg. Good piece of fielding, he's got forward. It could well have been a half volley if he hadn't been as agile in coming forward. Got the hands under it. He's come up with the catch. Just so confident it was a catch, he didn't even bother to appeal. Near three for 101.
Sachin Tendulkar comes out to join Binod Cambly. This is Amir Sohail, slow left arm. They'll turn this one behind square. They'll look for two. And they're going to come back for two. They're going to make it comfortably and Moen Khan again. He's not enjoying his day behind the stumps, I think it's safe to say. He turns his head away from that one again as the ball comes in on the bounce. Difficult one for Mohan Khan. Pakistan made, I think, an obvious decision that to throw the ball low and bounce it to the keeper. No ball, and that was a fine shot. Tempted Yorker, possibly. Get it right off the meat of the bat. It's coming back to the third. He's sent back by his partner. It made up a no ball. That was a fine shot. It's straight through the line, right along the ground. Superbly timed. So he was uh, coming back for a third there and was probably going to make it. And surprisingly, uh, Tendulka was the man who didn't want the third. He normally runs pretty quickly and well. The Fieldsman was actually making the throw on the turn, so it wasn't a strong throw. A warm overcast afternoon in Sydney. So he pulled away. He's a beautiful puller. Sachin Tendulkar, as soon as it's a fraction short, he rocked back onto the back foot. That's why he's going to be a great player. He's certainly a Stoney cuts on the offside. It could well be four again. That's superb batting by this young star. And when boundaries are needed, he's changed the line of the bowl by pulling the first ball over mid-wicket. This time it's wide of off stump and he cuts beautifully. This is a bit easier facing this left arm bowling than the uh, stuff at the other end. About 80 mile an hour difference in pace. Well, there's a chance to run out short if he hits, gets back. Inman, not behind the stumps, that was fair enough, didn't have much time. But that was very, very close. Miss Cambly was uh, charging. Good piece of work there by Sahail to throw on the turn. And uh, they had him either way with a direct hit or if Imran had hit them. Imran just didn't have time to get back to the stumps. Chip in the air, there's a man out there, he's getting under it. Oh, Huck does the job, good bowling, poor selection of shot, but that's good effort by the leg spinner, kicking the ball up, under pressure. A very valuable wicket for Pakistan. Yes, the, uh, the captain has got a lot of faith in his leg spinner. We'll start coming back, yeah, we're into the 40th over. And that's what happens with leg spinners, if uh, you're in the right... Uh, if you can get the team into the right position, put a few outfielders out. When they're trying to score quickly, it can be very difficult. As uh, Cambly has found out, India 4 for 147. In form, Sanjay Mandraker comes to the crease at a vital time. He played very well at the Gabba last weekend. It's important for the leg spinner to keep the ball up. That's how he got rid of the left-hander, Cambly, keeping the ball up and forcing him to, uh, if he wanted to score quickly, to hit into the outfield and that's where the uh, leg spinner can be of real value the ball's turning a bit it's not quite so easy to place the ball where you want as Cambly found out there ball not going where he wanted oh he's got him bowled him first ball Mandrake a clean ball by Mustak a fine piece of bowling and great captaincy by Imran Khan here at the Sydney Cricket Ground Yes, he uh, showed a lot of courage in bringing the leg spinner back on. The uh, hierarchy, the Pakistan hierarchy, thought that the ball would spin here a little bit. And just a little bit of turn there got the underneath edge back onto the stumps. So two wickets in the one over from Mushtaq. Good bowling. And Draker is out for a duck. And in the 40th over, India are 5 for 148. Kapil Dev, the man with the best strike rate in one day internationals over a long period of time, and 94.4 comes to the crease. It's 
It's well hit and beautifully placed. That's why he's one of the all-time greats. Kapil Dev hitting over cover for four. Five for 160. It's well struck. In fact, it's well placed too. A pick up two through mid wicket. So Kapil Dev once again scoring a runner ball when it's needed. They should be looking for the extra one. Here they are. And that's intelligent cricket by Sachin Tendulkar. He's only 18. He saw the wild throw. It was a quick call. So three off that final delivery. Five for 168 as Greg Chappell and Tony Gregg take up the commentary. Thank you, Bill. Yes, the lights on here at the City Cricket Ground. Oh, that's it high. This could be hard. Will it be six? It's a big one. Over the top for six. Kapil Dev opening his shoulders and smashing that one over the top of extra cover. Lovely sweet hit that was. Not the easiest shot to play over cover. It's a long boundary out there to the Brewongal stand. It's gone five or six rows back and he's put it down. And that's in the air but wider the fieldsman just. Did very well to stop that. Hyder down at uh, long on. Diving away to his right. Tendulkar getting in the act. Hyder makes a valiant attempt here. He actually gets a hand to it. Saved a certain four. You couldn't put that down as one that should have been taken. He just gets the hand to it before the ball hits the ground. Finish up, uh, he's in a bit of trouble out there. He's hurt himself as he came down. In fact, he may have even rolled across the slid across the ball, having dropped the ball. No, uh, I think he might have done a hamstring. Yes, it uh, looks as if uh, his left hamstring, mind you, he's trotting away. He's slowed up a little bit now. I think um, he's in a little bit of pain there. I think uh, it might be a good idea for him to just quietly take, get some ice on that. Take it easy on the way off the ground. What a great effort, though, to get uh, his hand to that one. Tendulkar on 49 now. Hand on strike. No ball called, and that's his 50. 50 or 57 balls. He's a lovely little batsman to watch. Very accomplished player, Sachin Tendulkar. Three fours, almost a six. Strike rate of 87.7 in very entertaining cricket. slow one and again it's pulled away down towards the boundary and this time into the fence so Dev really latching onto that one and Akib Jaiva just a little frustrated there it's very very tense in the center at the moment it's the slower ball it's on the full Uncle Dev hits it away to left field In the air and out. Imran making the catch at mid-wicket. Dev not quite middling that one. And it just spooned up to Imran and there was no way in the world he was going to drop that one. So a little gem of an innings really from Kapil Dev. 35 runs from 26 balls. Akib tries the slower ball again, this time just holding it back with the slower arm action. Imran is fielding right on the white line of the circle. He's delighted to take the catch. Another very good knock from Kapil Dev. India, six for 208. All right, the new batsman. It's been pretty effective for the Indians as well when it comes to situations like this. As their way keeper comes in and throws the bat from the word go.
very good at lifting their run rate towards the end of their innings, the Indians. Well, what a good delivery. Are they going to take a run? And he'll have a go. Yes, he will. And he's hit the stumps. What a magnificent bit of fielding there by Wazzy Macram. First of all, the magnificent delivery. Moray had to get up off the ground and run down the other end. He did his best, but Akram hit the stumps and Moray was just short. Almost the perfect sand shoe crusher to start with. Moray did all he could do to get his feet out of the way, jammed the, the bat on the ball, took the nosedive. Tendulkar took off an Akram, brilliant athlete that he is, scooped on it, aimed and cleaned them up. Moray on his way for four, India seven for 213. As the Indian innings comes to a close, Prabhakar is the new batsman. So the clock ticks over to six o'clock, which means that uh, they won't get the extra over in. This now becomes... At one stage it looked as though they'd only make just fractionally over the 200, as it was, this is the way their card finished at the end of the innings, 216, so I reckon there was a bonus there for Mohammad Azruddin's side. He played very well, so too Jadeja, and Tendulkar once again with his 54 not out in tremendous form, and that partnership with Kapil Dev could be the match winner. 7 for 216, and the bowling figures for Pakistan. Imran did a good job, although he was hampered by that shoulder injury, 8 overs for 25 from him, 2 for 28 for Akib Javed, and the leg spinner Mushtaq Ahmed came on and took vital wickets, two of them, to finish with three for 59. So it's quite a big task for Pakistan. They have a strong batting side, but the Indians have a very, very good bowling team. And that's out. Kapil Dev, the leading Indian bowler, has made the breakthrough again, and the Indian supporters are delighted. Just a little bit of swing there, we saw in the first over. And Zaman Al-Haq is on his way back to the pavilion. Ball just straightening up slightly, he's hit him on the roll of the pad, but umpire David Shepard in no doubt whatsoever. Certainly no doubt. The umpire Shepard's mind. Zaman leaving the field rather slowly. I'm glad the lights are on. Uh, Kapil Dev, the one getting the breakthrough, and a uh, breakthrough India really need. And Pakistan are now one for eight in the third over. Zahid Fazal, the right hand batsman, 18 years of age, so a few youngsters playing here tonight. Tindulka, family for India. That's out. That time he's got the line, the length, and everything right. Fazel has been searching for the ball, and he's finally found it. A lovely little outswinger there from Manoj Prabhaka. The Indian fans are very happy about it too, and so they should be. He found the line. An impeccable outswinger. Started angling in, straightened up, went away. A nice little nick. Pakistan are now would say reeling so hit out for two in the sixth over they're two for 17. one of the best batsmen in the world javed me and dad striding to the wicket with his side in trouble he's added to uh, his eight Javed Mehndad throwing off the years there to complete three runs. When he first came into the game, a very, very quick man in the field between the wickets. And taking advantage there as uh, the fielder slipped, picking up the ball, just making it in. And Javagal Srinat will be the bowler now from the Paddington end, the northern or Paddington end. That's two for 34. That's uh, in reply to India's good, good innings. That's the outside edge by Sahel. We go for four. No great amount of luck attached to what the Indian bowlers have been doing so far. 
I know the ball's gone past the outside edge several times. And instead of the two wickets that are down, there could have been a couple more. On this occasion, a bit of adjustment there by Amir Sahail. Well, he's had two go past uh, second slip. Now he's had one go over the head of the man at backward point. And beating the two men racing for it. So it just runs into the boundary. So Sahail now goes on to 22. This is what all bowlers hate, of course. First to establish superiority over the batsman in previous overs. There have been two edges gone off Sahail's bat. Previous ball missed by a mile. Now eventually the ball goes just over the top of the fielder and goes away for four. It's a nice glance that could go all the way. The original leg glance, beautifully played. The straying on to leg stump. Good players don't miss those ones. They're gifts. Fruit for the sideboard. It's two for 54. Sachin Tendulkar comes on. Great shot. A magnificent square cover drive. On the front foot, it was a fraction wide, and he gave it the full follow through. A glorious shot. Yes, Tendulkar wouldn't be very happy with that one. He'd uh, bowled pretty well so far. That was a wide delivery, and uh, he literally flayed that one through the offside field. No chance at all of the fielder cutting it off. Beautiful work. Oh, that was close. Magnificent work by Kieran Moray. It's great to see a wicketkeeper standing up. He had those bales off in a flash. Yes, and Javid, uh, as we've said, doesn't mind having a little wander. Keep an eye on his back foot here. Does he lift it? No, he doesn't. Beautiful work, but uh, Javid's toe down all the time there. There was no question of him being given out. No, he didn't cross over, did he? He stayed planted. It was a beautiful bit of work and good thinking by young Session to look at the little in swing going down leg side. He swings in nicely. Four socket over the fence, but it was on the ground, so it's four. Yes, there's no doubt that uh, Capital Dev has got a little bit of a problem with his leg. And Greg Chappell picked it when he was batting, and he uh, seems to me have stretched the hamstring just a little bit. And you'll see as he moves along the boundary here that uh, he's limping just a little bit, and that just for that reason, he had to try and put the boot in there. And he's flicked it over the boundary. shouts there but the bowler followed on Kieran Moray uh, was the one who went up so uh, could easily have been pad Tendulkar followed him up he didn't go up straight away and that's why because quite clearly it came off Shavid me and dad's front pad Fifty for Sahail, and he's been a good contributor for Pakistan. It's two for eighty-eight. Gives that a bit of a thump, and just enough to get it to the boundary. He really clubbed that one. As I said, he. Might not uh, play shots out of the textbook, Sahail. But he's producing a good innings here for Pakistan. That was beautifully placed. Yes, he's, uh, he's not what you'd call a pretty player, but he's very, very effective. He's beaten past the outside edge on uh, quite a few occasions at the start of the innings. Didn't worry him in the slightest. Well, these two teams very evenly matched after 30 overs. As they have been all the way through and well taken that's a good catch Chris Strickamp there coming forward and taking a good catch at mid-wicket just a few centimeters above the turf that's good cricket not easy to take those and he was on his way in he pushed forward for the catch even though it was a very well struck ball and a full toss now that's good stuff good cricket and it provides the third wicket at 105. Salim Malik 
Mark uh, comes out to receive a few instructions from Jarvid. Jarvid just changing gears. A bit of pressure on at the bowler's end, but Salah Malik is quick enough. Jarvid, me and Dad, deciding it's time for Salim to get loose. Charlie Mann, that of course. Actually, that's interesting. If, if the uh, the wicketkeeper there had been looking at the, his own stumps and thinking about running out, Charlie Mann, Dad, he'd have had a very good case to answer. So the best way to in front is to get aggressive. This is probably Malik's best option, of course. He is a, a natural free-flowing stroke maker. And anything like that, plenty of width, plenty of length, giving Malik a full chance to let the back go. He's gone high over Azaruddin at point. There's a lot of empty space down there on the boundary. And clatters into the fence. <laughs> it's out. He's taken by Kieran Moray. A little bit of width there as well. Prabhakar all steamed up about it. He's delighted. Mohammed Azaruddin in the background will be very happy. The Indians recognise that that was an important wicket. Their supporters in the crowd are delighted. Well, as ever, one free-flowing shot that goes to the boundary. One free-flowing shot that is nicked to the keeper. And, of course, the title of careless will spring straight to mind there. And many scribes watching this game. Salim Malik, not a very good shot there. And now Pakistan, four for 127. Well, plenty of experience there for Pakistan, their captain. Jarvid, me and Dad wants the run. Inman <laughs> Khan is too slow off the mark. And that really was a foolish piece of cricket. They didn't need to lose a wicket at this stage. I'm not quite sure who's. The main one to blame, Javed me and Dad wanted the run. Imran Khan wasn't sure, stop, started. Imran Khan hasn't batted yet until today in the competition. A little bit unfamiliar with the, the rules of calling here, confusion. Imran hesitated, and hasn't beaten the throw back here. Very well taken by Raju, who takes the bails off. And David Shepherd in perfect position there to give the decision. Imran Khan, the Pakistan captain. Is walking back accompanied by the duck in Pakistan a five for 130 and in some trouble was him Akram is the new batsman oh, he's hit straight back at him and I think he's dropped that it's the ball very hard Akram Have another look at this <coughs> still hit it well and shin height catch one that should be taken if he didn't get a lot of hand on it. I think it hit just above the right wrist. Five fieldsmen on the fence. Oh, and he's got him. Yes, out stump. Raju is struck. Boy, didn't he enjoy that having dropped him? David, a little bit of extra tweak. Off went the bales. And Wazim Akram is out stumped. Yes, a good piece of bowling. It's the arm ball. No turn there. It was a Mac Graham playing for it. And Kieran Moray having very little trouble taking the bails off. Well out of his ground. And Katavati Raju very excited about it. it was a Mac Graham upset. Was him high there. It's a bowl and he's got him off the inside edge. Well, that's it for Pakistan. Their star player now on his way back. It looked as if he was trying to steer that one away on the on, on the offside. Got a little inside edge onto the wick onto the stumps. So Javed Miandad out. Yes, a little in swing Yorker from Srinath. He's very happy about it, and so he should be. That was the last nail in the coffin for Pakistan. He was the man they needed out, Jarvid Miandad, for 40 of 110 balls. 
Pakistan now seven for 141. The new batsman is Mohan Khan. He's on strike at the moment, just 20 years of age. He's got that one away beautifully. Right off the beat of the bat. Oh, it's hit that very well. On the line of off stump, just uh, look at the wrist, bit of a follow through and out of the fence for four. Four more of those brings Pakistan right back into the game. Capital Devil have to be very careful here. Oh, well, he's given that one heaps, but he's going to be caught. What a good shot to get out to. He's hit it right off the meat of the bat. It's gone flying away down towards the boundary at point. And Mandraker has taken the catch. So Dev, having been smashed away twice on the onside, he's strengthened his field over on that side. And what did he do? He bowled a short one, got cut away, but got a wicket. Yes, a very well struck stroke. And Draker having no problems with the catch. Mohan Khan gone for 12 off 12 deliveries. And Pakistan are 8 for 161. Mushtaq Ahmed, a new batsman. Triple Dev. There's a chance for a run out. Choi. Got to be gone. He's gone by now. Yes, sir. It's all happening for India. Panic in the Pakistan camp. Good take by Kapil Dev. Good intelligence throw by the skipper. And India looking good at the Sydney cricket ground. Well, in looks like it's all over by the shadow. Yes, uh, Pakistan. I, I don't know what the hell uh, Mushtaq was thinking about there. I mean, uh, it was a case of have to. And in fact, there was a pretty easy run there because with all the stopping and starting, he was only just out. Pakistan now nine for 166. Akib Javid makes his way to the crease, India. On top here, a very good fielding and bowling display by the Indians tonight. Have a go enough to bowl the final over. And he's got him, so that's it. Queen bowled off the first ball. A great win for India at the Sydney Cricket Ground. That was a very good performance from India. They deserved the win. They outplayed Pakistan. And this is the way the final card looked in the Pakistan innings. 173 all out. Amir Sohail, 62 and Javed, me and Dad, 40. The only ones really to come to terms with the Indian bowling. Their partnership was 88, but it took them 151 balls, which give you, gives you a real good idea of just how difficult it was. The bowling figures for India, they did a terrific job. Kapil Dev, 2 for 30, and Prabhaka, once again, those two fellas up the top of the bowling order, did uh, great work for India, 2 for 22, Prabhaka, 2 for 30.